Hey everybody, this is Wrecker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. I'm gonna start the video out with a status report in case you didn't see the last one, because we're gonna be coming up to a boss fight this time. The Seed Guardian for Alicia, and seeing that this is a Seed Guardian, I have brought a uh, guest along. Hello, it's Juno. Unfortunately, it's not Zenev, because... He didn't want to watch this one because there wasn't enough failure in it. If that's Zenaf for you. He needs something to play off of. One other thing I didn't get to show off was uh, the biohazard scan after you defeat the first Seed Guardian. And this is going to change again after we defeat this Seed Guardian because every Seed Guardian Samus gets more corrupt. Mm -hmm. Not that it means anything in gameplay terms. At least I don't think so. It does not. Yeah. It'd be kind of annoying if it did, like, something out of, uh, I think it was Mega Man X5 or whatever. The only thing I could see it doing would be, like, making you enter corrupt hyper mode faster. Yeah, and like I said, it would be annoying. It, it would be, but... Some people would like it because entering corrupt hyper mode faster lets you abuse it more, but... Eh. I'm not a fan. I like the period of five or so seconds of in invincibility. If you didn't get the exterminator friend voucher, you can do it again. He well, you can do it here, but you can only do it once. Now, one thing I do like about the way Retro designed the seed bosses is they kind of have a feel for each planet they were on. Remember all the war golems that were on Brio and how he fought Magenar? Well, there's all these robots and technology on Elysia, so the Seed Guardian here has to be tech-based, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, either that or there's that tech... Either that is there's that tech bounty hunter. Now, these... Uh, those you're gonna have to blast the shields off before you can use your beam on them, and those require Seeker Missile. You're not gonna be using your missiles during this fight anyway. Uh, missiles are pretty much useless against this guy, except for when you need to use a Seeker Missile on him, and it'll be obvious. You won't be able to use your missiles to do get real damage to them. Yeah, missiles seem to be kind of, uh, I don't know. Kind of pointless in uh, pr after Prime One, really. But that's probably because a lot of the alternate functions seem kind of pointless compared to the main. Fire. I thoroughly disagree. Their missiles are very useful in two, but I don't. Uh, really, well, yeah. You must. You're thinking of the other charge combos aren't really that useful, but I think I think super missiles are very useful in two. But. Yeah, su yeah, yeah. Super missiles are always good, but everything else just kind of falls flat. All right, here we go. Here's Helios. See that little core underneath this plating? That's our target. Unfortunately, the outer shell has a lot of health, and it's not always vulnerable. That's a lot of... That's what the heck are those that are Yeah, the swarm bots. He, he makes a whole bunch of swarm bots. Uh, puts, like, a ball shell around himself and then tries to roll over you. It doesn't do as much damage as Mogadar's Shockwave. Uh, Helios is by far the easiest to free uh, Leviathan Seed bosses, but he is not a pushover. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, it's just, that, it's just that you don't seem to be doing anywhere near as bad as any other boss that rolls at you. Like, uh, I don't know, Boost Ball Guardian, uh, Star Wars. I hate this phase. Basically, it's like those those groups of enemies with shields, except they launch at you if you miss. And they do quite a bit of damage, and if you fall behind, it's very easy to get for them to chain you, and they do 30 damage apiece. It's probably his most irritating attack. I thought I got his core there. That's why I went into hyper mode briefly. Unfortunately, uh, that. Now, if you don't shoot his his uh, five his five targets fast enough with the seeker missile, 
he'll do that, but that's a pretty easy attack to dodge. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's annoying is when you accident when you're locked on, you accidentally shoot one of the targets. It'll mm -hmm. uh, it'll make it very difficult to get all five before he fully charges up his attack, and I've run into that problem a couple of times during this fight. It's also very easy to yeah, run out of if you don't have uh, all hundred missiles. Yeah, it seems like you have to actively point away just so it doesn't at all hit one of these things. I just hate, like, losing my lock. Once you do that, though, he's gonna be stunned for a long time, so unload on him. Once you deal enough damage to him, his core will be exposed, and I am no good at dodging this attack. Well, now we're gonna play when you can just start unloading at that point. Not only does this... If you get hit by this attack, not only does uh, it do damage to you, but it screws up your visor just long enough to where you lose your loss. Well, well, it seems like it's just like a very... It's just a very patient fight as well. Yeah, this fight does take a lot of patience, because breaking open... Even on veteran mode, breaking open the core takes a long time. And no, these aren't all his forms. He gets, uh, he gets more forms the farther you go in the boss fight, and I believe he gets a form that's exclusive to Hyper Mode Control. Oh, so he shapes with the form boss, or what? Yes, basically. Huh. Huh. This one's pretty easy. Okay. It's, it's hard to hit, but that's about it. I think it's very irritating if the Helios doesn't follow the sh the uh like he doesn't follow the shape of his his little webby crates here. Yeah, so you have to manual it. Can you can you actually just like manually aim it? Like uh set up a spot and aim it. You can pop onto him and then free aim, yes. Yeah, well, I meant, but I meant like you could set up a spot and then, you know, do that. You could just without it, without release lock. your lock and then stand still because he doesn't have any attacks other than that. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's probably, that's probably what I'd be doing. If I was just turn, if I could turn a little more. But you may notice how much damage that we got to do to him in that one volley. Yeah, then again, these days, then again that's probably also because the uh, games only let you do so much damage, so they gotta let you do as much as possible when you actually can. The thing you do have to be careful of is not unloading too much on this guy before you corrupt. And there's also a limit to how much damage you can deal before he goes into his next phase, like this. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. That seems to be running to you with Retro. Um... The trick to that is is uh, using hyperball. And when he changes phases like this, the best way to to break his shell open quickly again is to use some of your corrupt hyper mode to deal damage to a shell like that. Okay, I can't remember if this is the hyper mode exclusive form or not. This form might only be for veteran hyper mode. This is really annoying. Those four, those four joints to your targets, and it's very easy to uh, miss these or shoot them in the wrong order. There's a very specific order you have to shoot these in, or they'll start regenerating. You know, I keep seeing those. I keep thinking you need the cluster missile. Uh, actually, secret missiles don't work well on this form. Huh. You just have to oh, in the correct order. Oh, or, yeah, because I keep thinking you gotta blow them all out at once. That's the first thing I th that I thought of when I saw this form, and I don't believe this form appears on normal. But once you take out enough of the parts, this core will become vulnerable for a bit. Unfortunately, when you have him low on HP, he likes to start spamming his tornado form and that form that I just that I just took care of, both of which basically require hyper -mode.
So it's a boss that can to be very, very short or very, very long, depending on what he does. Yeah. Uh, it's also easy to fall behind in this form, and then things like this can happen. Or you can just easily panic and then start missing targets and your health can really go south really fast. I mean, in theory, you could use hyper mode to make that a little easier, right? You could, but you have to worry about uh, losing a lot of health. Yeah. I will just say yeah. this now. This is by far the best Helios fight I have had on any difficulty. I think that's the best fi boss fight you've had in in any of your runs, in, in, any, in any of these games. Because that right there, except for that one blunder with his uh, final form, that was perfect. About the best I can ask for. Mm -hmm. Now, this power-up that we got for Hyper Mode, the Hyper Missile, this is a really cool power-up on paper, but in practice it takes so much phase on that you hardly ever want to use it, and it's got a huge amount of recoil. So what is this, basically the super missile on crack? Pretty much. It's about as powerful as a super missile, but it takes so much phase on, and it takes so much time to set up. Well, maybe not time to set up, but first you have to be in hyper mode, it takes a lot of phase on. And you're very vulnerable when uh, you do this. And of course, they're going to force you to use it anyway. It is the fast. It is uh, the fastest attack in the game once you fire it off, though. Oh. Fastest. Oh, I expected. Oh, I expected it had to be like char it had to be a char charged up like the previous one too, but I guess not. You don't have to charge it, but it takes up a lot of. Uh, it takes a lot of time to fire it again. I was firing those basically as fast as I could. And the problem is, when you're in corrupt hyper mode using that, you're going to have a lot of enemies firing upon you. And if you have too many of them firing upon you, you won't be able to expel the phase on fast enough. Rapid, rapid firing the hyper beam is the fastest way to expel phase on when you're getting fired on like that. And that's mainly because you can't missile cancel anymore. If you could, that'd be really... you could potentially really do a lot with that. Not really. Then you're limited by the amount of phase on you have. Well, I guess. But I need to get rid of her. You didn't really get I guess how much phase on it takes. You can fire two, maybe three. I think it's three hyper missiles before you run out of phase on Ah, uh, I got you. I like how she just casually walks away from every exploding seed boss. That's just how it goes. That's just that's just what you do. You walk away from explosions. You don't. It... Okay, we have a cutscene coming up, so I want you to be a little bit quiet if possible, like a voice cutscene. Mm -hmm. Elysia is now free of further corruption, Samus. Both Leviathans have been removed from Federation space. You have once again performed admirably. However, the threat is not over. We received word from a reconnaissance unit that an emergency GF communication capsule has been found. Analysis has uncovered a message from Gambreda sent while she was searching for the pirate homeworld. This is her last message right before she disappeared. To our surprise, the message indicates that a Leviathan has also impacted the pirate homeworld, which suggests that pirates are now enhancing their military forces to phase on. Worse, the corruption appears to be spreading very quickly. It's as if the planet itself is transforming into pure phase on. Left unchecked, this corruption could spread to the entire galaxy. The time to act is now. You must destroy that Leviathan, and stop the spread of further corruption. To that end, the Federation is planning a full-scale assault on the pirate homeworld. The attack will commence as soon as our preparations are complete. We have marked the location of the pirate homeworld on your map. And Samus, be on the lookout for Andrea. Well, now we have a new planet to go to, the fourth and final planet, the Pirate Homeworld. 
There's going to be all kinds of fun things that happen there. And that's also where the game's difficulty really starts to ratchet up. But we're going to have to save the Pirate Homeworld for next time. For now, I'm going to show you Samus's uh, biohazard results now that she has the hyper missile and another status report. See you later, guys. See ya.